Hello everybody, what a great car. I'm Thomas Laudenbach, heading Porsche Motorsport since October this year and I'm delighted to introduce the new Cayman GT4 RS Club Sport to you today. If you look at it, you realize straight away it's a pure and mature race car. We started with a 981 a few years ago because we wanted to bring a car on entry level. We wanted to bring a race car for everybody to go to the racetrack. We've developed it further and I think today we really have something that is the right one to take. I want to thank the entire development team. They got a lot of experience in the meantime many, many years and they did listen to what the customers wanted. In the end, they increased performance, they improved drivability and I think what we see now um, is really a very good overall package. I hope you're looking forward that we give you now some more details and an inside view which Kai Alexander Breitbach, who was heading the development of the car, will give you now. Thank you Thomas for the bright introduction into the car and into the project and I'm now glad to introduce the technical insights of the GT4 RS Club Sport to you. The GT4 RS Club Sport now is the further development of the GT4 Club Sport based upon the 982. We implemented a whole new engine into the car and as well as a new gearbox and a whole new overall drivability. The GT4 RS Club Sport now is one leap forward for experienced drivers to be more quick, to take the corners more round, to be more fluent in, in the driving. But we also still took focus on the amateur driver because we keep the club sport genes into this car, which is turnkey race car, easy to use and easy to handle. And we want you to have both fun and be quick with that car. We added the higher oil level and the coolant expansion tank of the GT3 Cup car as well as the air intake and the whole air ducts, which are based upon the street legal car. This gives us the ability to not only increase the corner speeds, but also increase the air ratio we get through the natural aspirated engine. For the gearbox, which is a PDK, as we always have in club sport cars, we set up on a shorter gear ratio with open seventh gear and of course added our well-known differential lock from the club sport range. The combination of the engine and the gearbox with the seventh gear, with the differential lock, brings us overall power, stability and corner speed. To bring this power to a racetrack, you can not only implement an engine into a well-known car, but you need to rethink the whole aerodynamics and the weight distribution of the car. We developed the suspension unit from scratch and we added a sword stabilizer, which brings more adjustability to the front axle. We also added more aerodynamic capabilities to the front with a longer splitter with these flicks and so brought the balance of the car to a next level. We decided to keep the PO rim front and back bumper to keep the running cost low. 
we decided to go from the front bonnet and the fenders to biofiber plastics because the front bonnet implements now not only the air ducts and not only a hole for the fueling system but also the aggressive and the sporty look of the GT4S. Due to the wider tires of the SAO GT4 series, we widened up our front fenders and implemented not only the aerodynamics, but also the design features of the GT4S street legal car. After the technical insight, let's get more into detail of the design and the club sport concept. Tobi Hütter, over to you. Thank you, Alex, for the technical insight into our new Cayman GT4S club sport. Let me introduce myself. My name is Tobias Hütter. I'm working in the sales department of Porsche Monosport and I'm responsible for the international GT Sport act activities specifically for the customer sport side. When we were talking about the focus on the new Cayman GT4S Club Sport, the focus was essentially on the exterior of the car. And our ambition was to position the new Cayman GT4S Club Sport even more as a professional racing car by having a more striking and more muscular overall appearance and the result is mainly reflected in the optimized aerodynamics of the bodywork. And we also made some adjustments in the interior of the car, such as the newly designed steering wheel, with a new function of an integrated full-course yellow button now, which also replaces the lever for the cruise control from now on. The new Cayman GT4S Club Sport will remain as a turnkey race car, where you still can simply jump in, buckle up, start the engine and drive off. And that was also one of our main reasons to keep also the series electronics as well as the Porsche stability management. However, we did some fine-tuning on the ABS and on the traction control in different settings in order to improve the driving behavior even more in certain racing situations. Another point is that we were also able to keep the running cost on a low level. The main change is the new revision interval of 100 hours on the new engine. The new Cayman GT4S Club Sport will be now homologated X-Works by Porsche directly. This means that the GT4 kit is now already integrated or rather built in in the car's X-Work and that the separate upgrade kit is no longer necessary. In terms of the delivery of the cars, the cars will be still handed over at Manta Racing and Moist part close to the Nürburgring. And Manta Racing will also still offer suitable plug-in options such as a passenger seat, drinking system and so on. Another point to mention is also that there will be no separate upgrade kit available any longer in order to convert GT4 Club Sport into a GT4S Club Sport and this will be also not supported by Porsche. In general the Porsche GT4S Club Sport will be still the perfect fit for a wide range of drivers, for various race activities, capable of quick lap times and engaging to drive, but with the advantage of having the traction control and ABS on board and the car still shows a clear progression route up the Porsche Motorsport Pyramid through the various race activities which we are offering to our customers. Due to the limited number of cars and the technical innovations as presented, the car is mainly intended for the use in GT4 homologated racing series and with a clear ambition to fight for further championship and race victories for Porsche. But when we are talking about the driving behavior of the new car, I would like to pass on this question to our valued test and development driver Marco Seyfried who is also a very experienced race car driver. Marco, it's your turn. Thank you, Tobias, for your expertise and explanations. May I introduce myself? My name is Marco. I'm a professional racer, uh, as well as test and development driver for Porsche since 10 years. And I have spent a lot of time in the new GT4 RS club sport. When I was attending the final test, and I saw the car um, in its final spec, it really put a smile on my face because I thought we have accomplished the mission, what we were working for for a long time. The aerodynamic itself, we worked out so many different specs and now we have something which is really balanced and gives you a real superb feedback as a driver. The very first time in the car was really smooth. I was really impressed about it because it was effortless and just perfect. When you fire up the car now, you hear the new exhaust system, the sound, it's a pure race car sound. 
Then we have a new engine with a new transmission with shorter ratios, but the drivability is really great. We have things you don't even see when you look at the car because electronic systems are not seen, but you need to drive it to experience it. We have also electronic helpers like the ESC or PSM system for the amateurs when they start hitting the track the very first time, which supports you. The pro will say, I don't need it at all. Uh, you can deactivate the system, but you can also, let's say, when it's raining and uh, you would like to rely on the, on the TC, you really can, because it's really, it impressed me deeply how quick uh, it's regulating you and supports you. Like you are in a slide at the edge and uh, you see, oh, there's a white line. It's a real slippery patch. When I, when I nail it, it will probably snap away. But the system is regulating that fast that it really supports and helps you in that moment. And um, yeah, it just gives you more confidence to drive with the car. I really have a good feeling when the car is, is hitting first time the track and the light goes on green. When it's on high level championships, what it's made for, like the SRO championships worldwide, but as well on some club sports events like post sports cup events for an amateur. So the car can cover a wide range uh, of, of duties, what, what it's made for. I assume everybody is now thrilled and wants to know how the car is really performing and what you can really do with the car. But I would say, Thomas, let us know how good it really is. Thank you very much, Marco, for giving us the perspective of the driver. Because in the end, the most important thing is what you feel in the car and that you have fun whilst you're racing it. In my opinion, a big step forward concerning performance of the car, concerning drivability, and last not least, it is a real nice car with a great design. And if you want to know at what time you can get them, in February 2022, we will start to deliver. Thank you very much to all of you. And one thing I probably forgot, the overall performance. But if you want to know exactly how fast the car is or how much faster it is, let me tell you one thing, you should buy one, you should race it and you will feel it. Thank you.